Hi, welcome to my project box. Here in my hands I have two decorative style LED filament light bulbs. These are sort of done in a vintage style light bulb and they're very nice um, but my only gripe with them is that they're not the dimmable kind and they're reasonably expensive as well. Um, they cost a, a little bit more than these normal cheapy LED light bulbs but obviously they look a, a lot nicer. They sort of mimic the old-fashioned um, Edison style um, screw type light bulbs. Um, now I know they're not dim dimmable because I've tried them on a dimmer made specifically for LED light bulbs and they don't work. It says it on the packaging as well. They're, they're not dimmable. Um, but because they're rather expensive it would be nice to run them at a slightly lower intensity just to extend their life. Um, because uh, I've had these fail on me before and they're not that cheap. So it'd be nice to be able to, for them to last a little bit longer. And I've, I think I've figured out a way how to dim these non dimmable bulbs. And it's rather simple really. All you do is um, you uh, put uh, a little film capacitor, one of these suppression style capacitors, in line with uh, the live of the bulb. And then it limits the current to the light bulb and I presto it runs at a lower intensity. So you could either use it to extend the life of the bulb or to uh, have it soft mood lighting on a dimmer setting. So I'll give you an example. I've got a um, socket base here. And I've simply cut the, um, the live wire and put a capacitor in line. We lock the exposure and then plug it in. As you can see, it's now running at a lower intensity. Now, if I very carefully bridge out uh, the capacitor, it runs at a much higher bright, much higher intensity. And if I um, don't bridge the capacitor out, you'll see it runs at a much lower intensity. So we've effectively made a a light dimmer just by putting a capacitor in line. Um, it's as simple as that really. So now we can go one step further and change our original light switch, um, single light switch to a double one. And we can have, instead of just have a on off, we can, we can use the other switch as a high low setting. So you choose the capacitor for the intensity you want for the low setting. And then you can have full brightness or just your low mood lighting setting. And the other switch can simply be on off. So to wire this double switch up, all we have to do is connect two switches in series and put a capacitor across one of the switches. So you can take the common contacts of the two switches and just wire them together with a wire link. And since uh, the capacitor is going to go across the other switch, one of the wire link ends will be twisted onto the capacitor so it can go into the same terminal from that switch. And uh, the other terminal from that same switch twists onto the wire that goes to the lamp um, base, the live out of the switch. So it's into the first switch, that's the on-off switch, then wired in series to the other switch with the capacitor across it and then out to the lamp base. And the neutral goes straight across to the lamp base. That's it really. Simple. Now I've locked the exposure so that uh, we can see a demonstration of uh, the dimming action. And um, we'll try it on the low setting first. Now bear in mind this, this um, filament bulb is not dimmable. So we'll turn it on. So now it's in the low setting. And if we flick this button here, we have maximum brightness and low brightness. Quite nice, isn't it? We've turned a non dimmable light bulb into a dimmable one. And that's on and off. And um, I personally don't feel the need for a twisty knob with hundreds of different brightness settings. I just want my one setting that I like for on the dim setting, on the low setting, and then full brightness when I want full brightness. 
I don't think it's necessary for anything else. In any case, it makes a non-dimmable light bulb into a dimmable one. So these capacitors can be salvaged out of uh, various old power supplies and things like that, or you could just buy them on eBay or on Amazon online. Um, they're actually a very efficient way to um, limit the current and the voltage to your LED light bulbs in order to dim them. Um, it's actually a lot more efficient than using something like a resistor to limit the current because a resistor would bleed off um, all the excess energy as heat and uh, wasting heat is not light so that's actually very wasteful whereas this uses something called reactants so it's an incredibly efficient way to do it and it's a good way to um, make these filaments last longer by just uh, putting a bit less current through them so you don't have to run it at maximum brightness or completely dim you can just dim them down slightly so anyway let me know what you think um, if you think it's a good idea to do this let me know in the comments so thanks for watching i'll uh, i'll catch you on the next one